websites is uh, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics. Whenever I get into a, an argument with someone about uh, some issue related to jobs or income or employment or the economy, I can usually find helpful statistics uh, on this website. In, in fact, you can pretty much find st the statistics you need to back up any position, no matter what your position is. And uh, so I thought it would be worthwhile to, to show you um, how I can pull data off of the Bureau of Labor Statistics website and then uh, use it to uh, uh, make a point. So here I am, and uh, I'm uh, looking at the first random chart that pretty much pops up here, which is this, uh, uh, the Economics Daily, and there's a group of statistics here about um, employment of veterans versus non-veterans. And veterans being people who have served in the armed forces. So here we are, and um, so here's the chart. Now, you're, if you're trying to make a point, win an argument about something, um, you're looking at these numbers, and you could use these numbers, but it would be probably much more helpful if you actually had a nice graphic to help you with this. So what I uh, have done here is I, I can just copy this, this whole graphic Okay, and uh, and I've done that already. I just copy, and then I go to Excel spreadsheet and paste it, which is what I've done right here. So here it is. Here's the same chart, same data. And uh, so now I want to put it into a graphical form uh, that would be uh, immediately more helpful. So once I have the graph, and I'm in Excel, I, I can select everything in the graph here, just like that, like I've done before. And now I want to do a chart. So I'm going to go up to Recommended Charts. And I'm going to do some type of a, a bar chart, a column chart. So here are the charts, possible recommended charts to come up. And I think I might want to use this chart right here. So I click on that. Look at everything just comes up now in a really nice graphical form. Uh, and uh, there's uh, all the data here, and it's labeled. Uh, and uh, wow, look at this here. Let me make it even a little bit bigger. OK, so here's the chart. Now I can go on there, and I can click on the chart background. If this isn't good enough, pretty enough for me, I do right-click, Control click on a Mac, so I'm right, right click it, and I'll do format chart area, which I've done before. I come in here and, uh, okay, right, af right, uh, right off the bat, I might do a gradient fill. Wow, that improves it a lot already. I might want to put in a chart title. So uh, chart title, um, um, employment of veterans and non-veterans. Something like that. Let me, I don't need the chart title in there anymore, so let me just take that out. So there's a chart title, and then if uh, for some reason I want to make that a little bit bigger, or whatever, I can still do that. I can go in here and go under Home, and uh, here are my uh, all of my text options, as is typical in uh, Microsoft Office software. So I'll go to 20, and maybe I'll make it bold. So there. Now, and then this thing, I'll just close this out. So here's all of my data in a nice chart. It's labeled, and uh, it's fantastic. Okay, so, so this is uh, 
just a quick example of pulling data off the web and just copying it into Excel and then taking the numeric data and creating a nice graphical chart uh, out of that data. So uh, with that, I am uh, finished with this example.